And when I'm adding a color share, if they be in the program, come to Uno and listen to the program you saw on the Salon where they come to you on Afriya the 105.3 FM. As I've been telling Uno, I get started in the studio with me, Dr. Ikechuku Obuanu, in the Director for Child Health and Mortality Prevention Surveillance Champs. For short, we get for country we too, then different activities, them way they do engage in. But first of all, before we come and um, look at on activities, them we'll get a mandate of charms within on a mandate and um, on a key area of interventions them. Thank you so much, Madina, and um, good evening, Fambul them. Um, I the great to know they happy say we get opportunity to um, discuss with them they do in a salon. Um, Champs don't start to work in a salon since 2017. Mm -hmm. So now they don't reach almost seven years where they work now. Yeah. Um, the main thing we they do, as if you look at our name, na surveillance. Surveillance means say we they do research. Mm -hmm. So we they try to find what's in the main cause of death for under five picking them in a salon. Mm. So once picking die in a salon, we they find the body within 24 hours, we they get and uh, within what they call consent, we they talk to the mama or the papa of the picking to say as your picking don't die, make we try to find within at the real cause of death. Mm. And then they call autopsy or post mortem. Mm. So once we get that body we they take small small sample at different parts of the body to do plenty plenty tests. Um you know say in a salon uh, when picking go hospital sometimes they don't even fit treat and well or they don't fit do all the tests. So waiting would always depend on uh, waiting the doctor talk. Mm. Sometimes say they never do any lab tests before the picking die. So as soon as the picking die we they try to find waiting at the real cause of death and our aim now once we find that cause of death now why would they call them you know, charms that prevention surveillance. We mm -hmm. find waiting causes death. Waiting will they do to try prevent that cause of death not the picking. All right. Um, I should actually say um one of our key role as um charms so now they do give us do it research and all. So from on our different findings them from the research and the I don't conduct since when I start operation at the county. Waiting on I don't find out say like na the cause of um mortality within can talk child but and all. So we, we, yeah, we don't find plenty of things where they cause child um, death and um, still bed nest alone. I go try to focus on one, some of the big, big ones. Then mm. um, I think the first thing will surprise me, and I say many of the death they happen around the perinatal. Where we say as woman they give, I mean they give um, birth or soon after after they give the birth. So within one or two weeks, the pekin don't die. What do mm. they call still bed and neonatal death? That still bed and neonatal death, of course, it, they come from everything where they happen during the pregnancy. So with the CC, where they ask women to come to antenatal care, where they take care of them, they come four times, sometimes even serve eight times. Um, but sometimes com complications, they still happen. Mm. Um, and sometimes it's because of the way our health facilities are set up. So the first big surprise where I want to illustrate now, say um, many times those deaths they happen because our systems, our healthcare system, is not really prepared for mm -hmm. those kinds of complications. Um, so women are not referred on time. Sometimes with what they call danger signs, where they see danger signs in the pregnancy, people know they pay attention to them. If they even pay attention when they pick, when the mama don't come for delivery, we know if it get the right equipment, the right resources, the right capacity to take care. So now the first big one I want to mention, and we don't see say more than ninety percent, ninety percent of all the picking where they die in a salon, they preventable. Mm. Maybe say nine out of every ten death where we don't register. It gets something where we for don't do make that picking no die, mm. and to me that's a very very big surprise and a very big um, preventable factor that I did hope say as we they work with Ministry of Health and with other development partners we try to pay attention to all those preventable deaths. So you can take me to them preventable factors and they will go up tap then child death or still back them wake your call. Okay, so I think the first big preventable bucket we they call them now the health system factors. Mm. So waiting now. They, within they're under the control of the health system. So the big one are medical supplies. Mm. So we they see say many health um, facilities as we they talk today, they don't get the drugs, they don't get the laboratory things, they don't get even light or water to take care of the patients when they come. So those health system factors also include things like the health personnel sometimes. They don't know what to do or mm. they even know they're available or they don't work 
for the past two days they're tired so they can't do what is required so they call our health system factors it's a big bucket because i believe all the things that they do right now like we just saw last week they launched the new pediatric hospital in mm. Romley by the minister of health i believe that equipping the hospitals upgrading the health system can really prevent a big chunk we think about 56 percent of the causes of death and okay. um, the other areas where we they think see we could fit make big impact that disease specific areas so mm. i'll just take them disease by disease and and we can come back and ask some more questions. So okay. I think the first big area is malaria. Mm -hmm. So uh, you see, say in sites alone, we get many malaria programs. We they even give free bed nets. Mm -hmm. We they give malaria treatments. Um, we get global fund and other people they fund malaria support. In fact, we get malaria vaccine mm -hmm. even two months ago in April. But we see, say most of the death in alone, about forty eight percent, are still due to malaria. Now those malaria deaths in particular. It is a result from anemia. Anemia means